Hi lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Gemini, I am going to be pulling out some shells. Um, we're going to be doing some shell readings. Um, we wanted to get a little bit more in-depth uh, what's going on. Um, as you guys know, we recently went through a solar eclipse and on july the 4th we're going to be experiencing a lunar eclipse so these are major transformative energies keep in mind we do have five planets right now in the sign of capricorn we have saturn jupiter pluto um uh saturn jupiter pluto the moon um it, it's pretty wild right now <laughs> and um with the lunar eclipse, obviously it's going to highlight a lot of things that we've been suppressing or that we've been ignoring. So let's get into this reading. Spirits, what are the messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2020? Okay, Gemini. Okay, so what they're saying here is that you guys need to be careful with with your expression, meaning um, Gemini is a sign of communication. It's a sign of quick communication and getting the news or getting the point across very important for you guys. Um, but at the same time, when we're talking about the shadow side of a Gemini, you guys tend to over over intensify situations that happen when you're telling the story or when you're communicating you have a tendency of over exaggerating just a little bit <laughs> you guys know what i'm talking about um but what they're saying is that for this month of july it's going to be very important not to not to try and i know that for some of you guys you do it in a very in a very subconscious level, meaning you're not even aware that sometimes you tend to over exaggerate um, and maybe even question, you know, maybe you've even questioned yourself like, why do I do that? Like, you know, um, but and that's OK. But what they're saying is just be more mindful this month. The reason for that is because I can see here that there's there could be a situation that arises where someone hears or someone tells someone else it's it's gossip is what i'm hearing but what they're saying is that someone can hear something that was said or that you said and that person is a nonchalant type of energy they're not going to put up with nonsense so they're going to go straight to the horse's mouth meaning they're going to confront you about this um and you don't want to get yourself in that murky water. You don't want to get yourself caught up in drama, uh, especially because I do see a lot of uh, expansion for you guys. I do see growth here. So you don't really want to get caught up in all that drama or in he said, she said type of energy. Be mindful of the people that you surround yourself with, Gemini. Be, be careful, I should say of the people that you keep very close because i do see a lot of gossip around you i don't know if this is you gossiping or if the people around you have a tendency of gossiping and again like i said i think that this month uh communication could come off wrong or misinterpreted or told differently than what it was and it could come back to you and you just don't want to deal with that type of drama so again be mindful of that also what they're saying when it comes to any type of contracts, any type of agreements, any type of um, basically anything that has to do with contracts and business or providing a service or getting a service, be careful, be able or be careful and be mindful of reading like the the very, you know, um, very small. Uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for? The very small print, uh, because you might, you know, regret either doing a contract or signing something that you didn't really study or you didn't really read. And you're going to be putting yourself in a very uncomfortable situation. So if possible, uh, keep any 
uh, contracts, any business contracts, any partnerships or anything like that, keep it at bay for now. I would say probably uh, the beginning, if not the second week of July, of August, sorry. Um, but for now, I would not encourage you guys to go signing anything. And this could even be like if you're trying to get a car, if you're trying to get a house, something like that, um, a purchase or something. Uh, now is not the time to do so. So if you have been thinking of doing that, just uh, stick it out for a little bit more, okay? Don't rush into that. So let's see what your cards have to say. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2020. July 2020, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, what are the messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay, one more. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the month of July 2020. Okay. All right, your first card here is the King of Swords, communication, communication, communication. Like I said, you guys be careful or mindful of the people that you communicate with. Um, now, the reason I say that is because we do have your card here, the King of Swords, uh, communication with the Ace of Swords being honest. Um, but as it continues down the chain, it gets diluted. So it could be, uh, like I said, it could be that you say something that triggers someone or you could communicate something and then later on it is, you know, once it gets to the person that it's being affected, it the, the story has been completely turned around. So just be careful with that. Now I do see here, um, I do want to point out, you do have the moon card with the world card and the death card. So there's major transformation happening here. For some of you guys, it could be almost getting in some time. And again, we go back to that of contracts. Um, I, I do see a situation arising, something that has to do with either where you're living right now. And it could be that like if you live in apartments, it could be that there's like too much gossip around you or people around you are too like gossipy. And it's starting to really affect not only you, but those around you. So this could be your family. This could be your partner as well. Um, that type of energy. And I almost feel like there is a desire of release or moving or changing re residency. Now, I don't see it happening for the month of July, but I do see that coming up. I do see like having a conversation with the family about moving or wanting to move or something like that. Um and again, with the world card, you know, like I said, we do have the lunar eclipse. With lunar eclipses, a lot of the times, oftentimes, uh, there's major changes that happen and it, it greatly impacts our life or our way of living. So it could be, like I said, it could be the, the conversation about uh, moving or changing um changing residency residency sorry for others of you it could be even thinking of changing where you're working at or going to going to another company versus where you're working at right now and it could be because again the energy is very like negative around you um so just be be mindful of that now for those of you guys that are currently dealing with um with a person that either left the situation, left your partnership or left, you know, left you or walked out or, or went um, MIA for you guys or they completely ghosted you. Um, now, these are only for those of you guys that are currently single dating kind of um, what they're saying here is that this person will be returning. I do see communication happening again. But it's not something that is going to be long lasting. So what I mean by that is, yes, communi communication comes through, but I still see them stuck on the past because I do have the eight of swords here and the two of wands. So there is still a desire to move towards you or to communicate with you. But at the same time, they're still dragging their past with them. So if you give yourself or put yourself in that situation, you're going to end up feeling like they took you for granted again or like they up and left you without telling you goodbye or anything like that. So my advice to you guys, any people coming back from the past, 
don't take it seriously because it's only going to be a temporary situation. It's not something that is going to stick. Remember, we do have a, uh, a few planets in retrograde right now. So uh, with that being said, um, just be mindful of that, okay? Now let's see what Spirit's direct message is for you for this month of July. Spirits, what are the messages? What's the direct message for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2017. All right. Now your first card here is adjustments are required. I think I got this card for Libra. So if you guys are dealing with the Libra, go and watch their video. Perhaps it's going to make sense. Um, adjustments are required. Again, uh, I do see changes. I do see like uh, the thinking of moving or changing residency, anything like that. And if you feel that at this point in your life, that's something that you need to do in order to bring more peace to you, then definitely, um, definitely do it. Definitely do it. I wouldn't suggest for you guys to do it this month. Um, but definitely start to plan that out because again, if you want to get different results, you need to do a different approach from what you've been doing up until now. So keep that in mind. Your next card is you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. The feeling of the feeling of believing in yourself. Uh, the feeling of adapting to what's going on in your life. Um, there is. I feel like for some of you guys, you have this feeling of often people don't give you thanks or are not appreciative of the things that you do. Um, and this could even come like from your partner, from your wife, from your husband, from your children. It's almost the feeling of ev like I go or I try to go above and beyond and it's just never good enough. And what Spirit is telling you is you don't need them to validate that because sooner than later, as time progresses and life teaches us lessons, they're going to get to the point of understanding everything that you did for them. Whenever you do something, do it out of love. Do it out of because it comes from your heart, because that's something you want to do without expectancy. When you do things out of without feeling any expectation, you're not letting yourself down. You're feeling good about yourself because to help others uh, is it, it's a form of gratitude to the universe. And at the same time, it helps you uh, raise your vibration because you're in that energy of gratitude and gratefulness. Um, and like I said, it's important to do things without the expectation of it because then you're not let down if they're not appreciative. And at the same time, you're doing it out of the kindness of your heart. So just keep that in mind as well as, like I said, uh, a lot of self-love, Gemini. Believe in yourself, trust in yourself. And even though people don't necessarily um, are vocal about how grateful they are having you in their lives, trust me when I tell you, they are grateful. Um, and so long as you know that everything you do, you do it from a good place in your heart, that's all that matters, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. You guys have a safe and um, exciting lunar eclipse. We'll see each other soon. Bye.